News Alert as we come in on the breaking developments now having to do with the Inspector General's report at the State Department about Hillary Clinton uh, improperly failing to use the protocol that was set up for Secretaries of State and every employee there with regard to record keeping. Uh, that bombshell breaking today, and it's, it's extremely important given the fact that she's being investigated by the FBI, and we don't know what they have, but we do know that this information exists, that of those thousand or so now deemed classified emails, some were top secret, and now the IG is saying she didn't do it right. Not to mention the fact that many of her top aides refused to cooperate with the review at the State Department. All of this. And now some response from Hillary Clinton's political campaign, because we've been talking today as the story is developing about whether or not this would affect her run for the White House. Her spokesperson, Brian Fallon, has just tweeted out on Twitter, GOP will attack HRC, Hillary Rodham Clinton, because she is running for president. But IG report makes clear her personal email use was not unique at the State Department. No. Of course not. Other people had private email. What this is about is the fact that she had a home cooked server in her house and other employees of State Department who were secretaries of state did not do that. To the so, best of our knowledge. To the best of our knowledge. That's right, because it was secret. Congressman Jason Chaffetz is chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Uh, good to have you with us, Congressman. And, you know, I read part of your statement uh, live here, but I didn't get to the part specifically about Hillary Clinton and the news that's breaking today. Your thoughts? Well, one of the deep concerns is we have inspectors general. They're nonpartisan. They're the people we rely on to go looking under the hood. They were able to interview past secretaries of state, Secretary Powell, Secretary Mile, and Albright, all of these people, including Secretary Kerry. The only secretary of state that refused to be interviewed through her counsel uh, was uh, Secretary Clinton. And so. We know that there have been problems with record retention. Um, we're very concerned about that. It is pervasive throughout all of government, to be fair. But in the case of the State Department, we really do rely on these records. And it is the law that you are supposed to go through a process that she evidently did not follow. G Congressman, good to have you here. This is Sandra Smith. Uh, we're getting yeah. reaction from House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi right now. She was just asked about the latest report, this, uh, uh, the latest revelations on this controversy. And she said, quote, that Hillary Clinton did act in good conscience. Your response. I don't know how you can come to that conclusion. She set up a private email service with herself. Um, there is a deep concern about records retention. You now have an inspector general report stating that there were clearly some problems and flaws. She refuses to be interviewed by the independent person, the inspector general herself. Uh, the inspector general, uh, she should have answered those questions that all the other secretary of states have managed to do. And there's the first time that email was pervasive throughout all of the State Department was under Secretary Clinton's watch. Um, it, it, it's, uh, it's something that she should answer to. Congressman, hi, it's Kirsten Powers. Um, so I'm just wondering, what's the, two questions, what's the most damning thing in this report? You, you know, is there new information that you find particularly damning? And second, how common is it for, uh, you know, uh, government officials to not cooperate with an IG investigation? Um, it, it, this is very uncommon, and just look at the, the universe of just secretaries of state, past and the current, all sat down and did interviews uh, with the inspector general. The only one who opted out was uh, Secretary Clinton. I have not poured through every word of this report, but on some of the top line uh, issues of concern, A, she didn't answer questions, uh, B, nobody's been disciplined there at the State Department for lack of compliance, um, and you know, when you aren't able to interview the actual person, that, that's, uh, that says a lot uh, about uh, where they're going with this. You know, as you move forward with this, we still don't know uh, what the FBI has, but can you put what we're learning today into context? Uh, we saw with President Obama on with Chris Wallace last month on Fox News Sunday, he started to kind of hedge his comments a little bit. We have to be careful. There are investigations. He said plural going on. Put this into context, if you would. Well, we don't know what they're going to find. I do have a strong belief in uh, the FBI director, Mr. Comey. I think he's a very serious-minded person. He testified before us in the House Judiciary Committee a number of weeks ago and said that he reviews this every day. He's got his finger on the pulse. And obviously, this investigation continues. I'd like to have that concluded sooner rather than later. I think that's fair to the secretary and, and to the American people trying to make some vital decisions. But if you're trying to clean up your record, you would go and sit with the inspector general to do that. And, and 
and in this case, Secretary Clinton refused to do it. You know, I, I'm looking now as it's coming into our newsroom, other Democrats who are give, giving their support. Uh, Representative Elijah Cummings, who also sits on the Oversight Committee uh, with you, is, is saying, you know, in, in her defense, there were so many other people in the State Department, many who held the same job she did previously, who had personal email. That is not really the issue, That's though. Not. It That's is the private yeah. server uh, and, and those emails that were deleted that we will never know. But I, I want to get your thoughts on it. Well, in order to set something up like this, you have to have two different people in, in two key agencies, or not agencies, but there are two key people, uh, the head of diplomatic security, and I can't remember the, the title of the other one, in order to uh, set up some sort of arrangement like this. But evidently, at least according to the IG report, as I read the top line here, she didn't get the permission uh, or seek their guidance from either mm -hmm. one of those people along the way. Congressman, it's Sandra again. Uh, yeah. Let's broaden this out and look at this from a political perspective um, as we await more findings um, from this ongoing controversy. We've already seen uh, the presumptive GOP nominee, Donald Trump, uh, attacking Hillary Clinton on this email scandal. Uh, will Republicans be able to get this message out there after this IG report in a different way than they have in the past? As Kirsten said earlier, Democrats have baked this in um, as far as Hillary Clinton and the email scandal. Where does this go politically? You know, it's not it's not my job to, to drive it politically. Here's the concern. When the, when the Secretary of State, serving in one of the most sensitive positions in all of government, has this private setup, it, it potentially put people's lives at risk. It's a national security concern. There are There is classified intelligence that, at least according to the news reports I'm reading, was vulnerable to attack and to uh, view by uh, our adversaries. That's my concern, that we solve this, that we understand uh, how pervasive it is, and that we protect the people who, whose uh, information may have been compromised. The political stuff, uh, the, the nominees will take care of that. I don't want to get in that food fight. I want to stick to the facts. And the fact of the matter is, she alone, Secretary Clinton, created this vulnerability. Her statements on it uh, thus far appear, at least on the surface at the beginning, to be untrue. And she needs to come clean. But you have a chance to come clean on this by being interviewed by the Inspector General. And to refuse to do that is just mind boggling. Mm. Well, then do you, by the way, do you expect her to do that, Congressman, eventually, sit down? Well, I, it, you would think that she would voluntarily do this. If she wants to get this behind her and okay. she has nothing to hide, then go answer questions from the nonpartisan person, the inspector general, to answer these questions. All right, Congressman Jason Chaffetz, thank you for joining us on this uh, breaking news. Good to have you.